Okay, now I'm going to show you how to cut a pot off the wheel. Now, the first trick to cutting a pot off the wheel is getting a hold of the wire right. So you take your wire, grab, reach over it like this with your fingers, slide until your the wood butts up against your pinky like that on both hands. If you have small hands, you'll need to wrap two fingers like this, then use your thumbs. Actually, if you have big hands, wrap two fingers. If you have small hands, you'll need to wrap it around your whole hand like that. But for big hands, two fingers is usually enough. Get your thumbs firmly seated on the wire. Hold the wire nice and tight and flat against the, the wheel. And gently and slowly slide it underneath your pot. The trick is don't let go when you're underneath the pot because the wire will pop up through your pot like this. Also, if you get if you feel like you're getting stuck or something, but just make sure you keep tension on the wire like this so you're pulling all the way through. You can also do this with a very slight spinning motion. Makes the cut a little easier and smoother, like so. But that's up to you, it's up to your comfort level. But that's how you cut your pot off the wheel. Um, then you can take, if you have removable bats, oh, one more tip, excuse me, one more tip. When you let go of this wire, be careful because it's springy and a lot of times it will bounce and these pieces of wood will hit into the side of your pot or you'll accidentally chop a piece of the edge off your pot. So usually turn your body away from the wheel, take the wire out of your hands, set it aside. Anyway, as I was saying, if you have removable bats, you can gently pry this bat. Ooh. <laughs> That's how not to do it. Lift this up, set it aside, get another bat, and keep throwing. If it's a solid piece, like a mug, usually they're sturdy enough that you can grab the edges um, like this or like this and lift it off. With a bowl like this, it's a little more fragile. You can see if I try and lift this up, it's going to distort it. So you probably don't want to do that. Leave it there. And... Uh, let it dry a little bit to leather hard, and then you'll probably need to recut it. And then once it's leather hard, it's easy to just grab and lift off. So there you go.